the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 211, Jeremiah 29-31 to The New Covenant, the bridge between the Old and New Testament. Jeremiah sent a letter to the people taken to Babylon, saying that the captivity period was 70 years and that this was God's will. First point. Jeremiah wrote a letter to the captives of South Judah who were taken to Babylon. Jeremiah sent letters to those who were taken as captives to Babylon the first and second lounge. Those who were taken in the second group were living in Babylon and working for them, and so Jeremiah sent a heartfelt letter. He explained that they were to live in Babylon for 70 years and that this was God's project for them to grow into good figs in a kingdom of priests. He also told them to pray for Babylon and its peace during those 70 years. During battles, it was normal for captives and slaves to be put in front as meat shields. If Babylon had to go to war, the captives would be the first to die. Therefore, Jeremiah told them to pray for the peace of Babylon for 70 years. He also told them not to be fooled by false prophets. They were reminded that they would be able to return to Jerusalem once the 70 years came to an end. Daniel received this letter and therefore prayed, whilst knowing that Babylon would perish in 70 years. The captives were told to pray to God during their years in Babylon. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Second point, God told Jeremiah of his judgment of the false prophets, Ahab, Zedekiah, and Shimei. To Koliah's son Ahab and Maaseah's son Zedekiah, who told false messages about God to the people, God declared judgment. Those who spoke false words about God were to die a brutal death, and this would be used to illustrate an undignified death. Shimea, a false prophet during the time of Babylon captivity, strongly accused Jeremiah of having said that their stay in Babylon would last 70 years, and sent a letter to Jephaniah, the governor in Jerusalem, to punish Jeremiah. The contents of the letter sent to Jephaniah in the Jerusalem temple during the time of Babylon captivity by Shimea can be found in Jeremiah 29 verses 26 to 28. Shimea did not repent and sent a letter to make Jeremiah stop sending letters to Jerusalem. God punished Shimea. Third point, God explained that the captives would be able to return from Babylon after 70 years. God explained how the people of South Judah would be restored. God wanted Jeremiah to write this down and make a record. Although the people had no desire to listen or read about this now, God wanted the people to have this record to refer to later on. To the people of South Judah, God promised that when their punishment was over, He would deliver them from their enemies' hands and heal their wounds. He would also enable the Jerusalem temple to be restored. He would also grant them peace. Lastly, He promised them their leader. As such, after 70 years, the relationship between God and South Judah would be restored again. So you will be my people and I will be your God. Fourth point, God told Jeremiah of the perfect restoration of those Israel and South Judah that would come. God gave a message regarding the restoration of North Israel. This was God's promise that He would restore the twelve tribes of Israel and enable them to worship God again in the restored Jerusalem temple. 
The reason for God's restoration was because they were chosen by God to live as holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. And God had spoken through the prophet Hosea that God had mercy in his heart. How can I give you up a prey? How can I hand you over Israel? How can I treat you like Adam? How can I make you like Zevoi? My heart is changed within me. All my compassion is aroused. God also planned to restore South Judah. After the 70 years were over, the people would be able to live in peace in Jerusalem. The hope declared by Jeremiah was completely different to the hope declared by the false prophet. Jeremiah's declared hope was to happen in the future, and this was God's gift to them. Although their reality was painful, they were to persevere in order to experience God's blessing, peace, and restoration. Fifth point, Jeremiah prophesied the new covenant, which was the most important bridge that connected to the New Testament. God told Jeremiah of the new covenant. This new covenant was important because it connected the Old and New Testaments. The writer of Hebrews also wrote about the new covenant. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. By calling this covenant new, he has made the first one obsolete. And what is obsolete and outdated will soon disappear. The process leading up to this new covenant was as follows. First, it began with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through God's grace covenant. Second, upon the foundation of this grace covenant, God made a bilateral covenant with the people of Israel after Exodus in Mount Sinai. The bilateral covenant was a promise between God and the people of Israel and the vow that they would keep God's laws. Third, after 900 years, God told Jeremiah about the new covenant. 600 years from then, Jesus Christ came to this earth and also spoke of this new covenant. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. This new covenant became fulfilled through the cross of Jesus Christ. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.